to my channel also welcome if you're new here if you're new here hi i'm shandirica and i go by shan so feel free to call me shan i usually go by shan because like it's either easier easier to pronounce or just because a lot of people like i've grown up and a lot of people have called me shan and i don't mind shan but i do want to get used to introducing myself as shandirica because that's what i have as my channel as the name of my channel i'm so excited because april is literally in how many days like two more days and i'm just really excited because this is going to be like the april reset so if you don't already know i do i have started doing monthly resets so i did one for january and then one for february and i did one for march and now it's time for april in my previous video if you haven't watched it already or maybe i will i more than likely upload this video first just because i want to go ahead and get it out there but then the next video you you see you'll see me like already like cleaning and prepping and preparing so i've already cleaned and it smells so good it feels so good and i try to always keep my room tidy and clean sometimes my desk isn't as tidy and clean because i like i'm studying i try to study a lot or like doing just doing homework or just is mainly covered in like books and stuff like that. I am really excited about this video because it's going to be like something different really. I'm trying to incorporate new things and I'm trying to change up how I do things to make it more engaging because sometimes when you do things like over and over again it kind of gets a little maybe gets a little boring or starts to get uninteresting. So I, as you all know, I have been trying to finish reading this book called Becoming and I still have not finished reading that book and I feel bad that I have not finished reading it, but I'm going to switch it up a bit and switch over to reading more like graphic novels and more like fiction because that's what I really like to read and maybe it's because I haven't read enough of that and because I'm always reading books that consist of like a lot of facts and not like a a lot of graphics I mean my dental hygiene books they're for school and they do have graphics but it's like totally different I've had these three books for some time now and the first one is called you reach you've reached Sam and it's I guess about this I guess her boyfriend like something about he he dies and like everything changes and so I'm excited to read this book it's I don't know I feel like it's, it's definitely going to be sad but it's also going to be very interesting and this is called Haru's Curse this is an I don't even know I'm not I was not trying to do this on purpose but this is also another book but this is about about someone who dies but like her sister dies and it's interesting because she after the funeral she agrees to date her sister's fiance togo and that's where it's like what so i'm like interested in this one too and the pages are like only in um black and white which is fine but interested in that and then this is True Beauty. I have been reading this series for a while now and my friend from high school, like she brought me the first book and then after that I was like, okay, I gotta get the, the next one. So I've read the first one, the second one, and this is the third one. I have not started on it, but it's very, very interesting. And it's from Webtoon and you can read it online, but I prefer to have the book actually in my hand, so. As a part of my goals for this month, uh, April, I want to incorporate journaling more. I used to journal a lot. Now I feel like it's something more of like a task and I don't want it to be that way. So I decided to invest in these affirmation cards from Notique and they are inspired by the word of God, which is great. And I feel like this is going to help me in regards to journaling prompts. So if you all have been keeping up with the resets and just with my goals that I want to set for myself, I have been talking about Mr. and Mrs. Muscle a lot. 
and how I just enjoy incorporating their exercising into my routine. And I've been trying to do three times a week and I've been getting better at it, but it's just, I enjoy this channel and this channel is something that I've recently found and I just enjoy it, you know, with body weight workouts and dumbbell workouts. So I also want to just overall be a healthier version of myself and <laughs> I'm just going to say I feel like consuming water is very very important so I got a new water bottle. <laughs> Recently, I invested in this satin pillowcase and it is so soft on my skin. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I sleep better with it. Also, just overall, it's just good to have a nice soft comforter set to help you sleep. I also like to include school as a part of my goals and things that I have been using for some time is flashcards like sometimes I just feel like they were time consuming and that's because I started late writing them and that was the only reason why but I have learned that if I can just start right away it's a lot better for me and it helps me to recall information I also invested in a whiteboard from Amazon and yeah I'll let you know how that goes um another thing that I have enjoyed like doing in regards to school I feel like it's helped me a lot is going on Quizlet and sometimes like me like my I have classmates and they will make quizlets and we'll like go and like study them all together or sometimes I'll just go and I'll make quizlets on just a vocabulary and that also helps so if you don't have a Samsung tablet <laughs> just kidding but just having a tablet and being able to screen record lectures helps tremendously and I feel like I don't really take time to re-watch the lectures enough. I really need to get better at that. Another thing recently is Samsung Notes. I've tried taking notes on my tablet um, just to see if like handwriting will help me recall information and just having aesthetically pleasing notes, seeing if that will help me. <laughs> So if you know, you know, there are just certain YouTubers that I feel like just really help me like overall with my motivation, especially in regards to school. Just recently, I've subscribed to Phaedra D and she is so inspiring and so motivational and just so like beautiful all around. And I really enjoy watching her as just like motivation. And she's also in school. Another YouTuber is Leandra Yomo. And I think I'm saying her name right. She is actually a lawyer now. Now, and although we're not studying the same thing she motivates me too and I absolutely love her so much and another thing is study with me's I like putting on study with me's when I study because it's like I'm having someone to study with I don't know it's awkward because if I'm in a big group I feel like I can't really study well I'll also do romanticized studying well romanticized school videos I've watched those and they're like very motivational so Phaedra D actually recommended Turbo Learn. It's like using artificial intelligence to help make a summary of the notes that you take in class. So what I did, I took an audio of my lectures and I uploaded it to Turbo Learn AI and it has like flashcards, it has quizzes, and it's just a summary of the notes from that day. You know, they say save the best for last, but the word is never last. But anyhow, I have started this read the Bible in a year plan. It's been going OK. I'm not going to like beat myself up about it, but I can definitely do better in regards to reading every day. I find that mornings reading in the mornings is a lot better for me because if I put it off, then I won't go back and read it. And, you know, I pray, try to pray throughout the day, 
but reading the word in the morning is very helpful i also have bible highlighters that i got from daily grace co i had them for years now and they help me too okay so i hope you all enjoyed today's video i really wanted to incorporate like more of just showing you the things that I'm trying to do to help better myself like in every area of my life from my faith which is like so much and so like which is like so so important and it's like without God I like I cannot do anything on my own and without God it's just my life would totally be I would be lost and so it's just really good to be able to show you all like how I'm trying to better myself especially in regards to reading more of the word and understanding more of God's word and not just getting closer to him but learning how to navigate life and include him in every area of my life and I've already read the bible one time and I'm just trying to I really want to read it again but I want to do it in a different approach and I want to be able to recall scripture off the top of my head off the top of my head like be able to have it like instilled like within my heart and be able to just pray it out and I know that we have the bible apps on our phones and of course we have like many bibles that can literally fit in our purses or pockets but you know I just really wanted to hone in on actually showing you instead of just sitting in front of the camera and talking one thing that I really enjoy doing differently was actually finding different other like things to help with studying and so like I watch Phaedra D and I also watch Leandra Yom Yom Leandra and it's just she's like very motivational like I know we're not going she's actually like a lawyer now and I know we aren't in the same field of like study like where we aren't in the same area in regards to like working but she inspires me so much and then phaedra phaedra d she also inspires me too like again we aren't in the same st field of study but just finding like study with me videos and just finding other um young women who look like me you know whether they look like me or not but definitely like those who look like me like that really really encourages me a lot and just being able to watch their videos and get some inspiration and because sometimes it can be like school can be very very challenging and when I look up like romanticize in school just trying to find ways to better like enjoy school without it feeling like oh I have to go to school again I recall in my last video one of the videos I talked about how I'm more of a I guess like a kinesthetic learner and then also like I couldn't remember which two I was but it was something about multi multimodal and like color coding and I got a like a whiteboard because I know one of my classmates she says that her whiteboard like she really enjoys using her flashcards and her whiteboard and that really helps her and I know that things are different um, like it's it's different like when what helps my classmates like how they study may not help me but I find that maybe I should start using a whiteboard and I that way I can use like my color coding which I like using my highlighters I like color coding things and then also Quizlet Quizlet is like a bit help and my classmates and I we like a fine Quizlets or one of my classmates she'll like make Quizlets and like we'll use that to study and then like from Phaedra D's video, she talked about using AI, artificial intelligence, and I would have never thought that. But what I did, I took my audio from um, my um, lecture recordings and I uploaded the audio and then AI broke it down and said, that's what I was showing you. And I haven't, I've read over those briefly. I haven't really figured out if AI is something that's been helpful for me in regards to studying but I'll definitely let you know how that goes as I use it more. I've been using Mr. and Mrs. Mosul to like work out and I really like it and then at one point I did go for like a holy girl walk. I call it a ho holy girl walk all because 
I'm just trying to figure out what a holy girl walk is to me. Is it listening and is it walking and listening to um, worship music or is it walking and listening to sermons? If anything, I I'm it's just not going to be a walk for me. I want it to be a holy girl walk, but I'm trying to figure out exactly what a holy girl walk means to me. And yeah, I feel like this month I've learned new things and now I'm just trying to figure out how I can incorporate it into my schedule. Like I've tried new things and it's like I've tried it out to see if whether it fits me or not. And some things like I really enjoyed that walk. But then I thought about how nice it would be to have a puppy. But anyhow, um, yeah. So I'm going to quit talking now. I just really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope that it encourages you to start off this month great and just to venture out and try new things like you won't know if you like it or not until you try it now there are some things you look at and you be like no that's absolutely not for me and then some things you'd be like okay let me try this first but i highly recommend you try it first and see give it a couple of days and see if it suits you if it best suits you like how it suits you you know but yeah i hope you have a blessed month of april and i hope that you end this month blessed as well i love y'all so much and i will see y'all in the next video oh also look speaking of trying new things my classmates and i were talking about trying to do our makeup and this is the first time like i i went in sephora and this beautiful young lady she helped me out and i got like the concealer and I got the foundation like we got it to get what matches me and I was telling my sister that I really I like using the foundations and stuff because it makes my eyeshadow show up better versus when I don't have it on I don't I feel like my eyeshadow doesn't really show up how it should but yeah I decided to try it out today and you know just keep today but anyhow I love y'all Thank you.